assalamu alaikum dear students today the topic of our lecture is data communication in networks so following are the topics we will cover in this lecture introduction to data communication and computer networks modes of communication over network and communication network types and topologies so here we are i am starting these topics so <clears throat> data communication what is data communication it is actually some sort of exchange of soft materials between two or more devices is known as communication <clears throat> computer also communicate in various ways through some specific path that is internally within the computer system and externally from between the computers we have already read the computers internal communication that is in the computer hardware that how uh, microprocessor input output devices storage devices and many other uh, devices are communicating when we want we have different types of inputs process and outputs so we have already discussed these type of things here today we are going to discuss data communication mostly external data communication <clears throat> that is how uh, we can communicate transmit data from one source to other destination between two nodes between two systems like this so computer also communicate in various ways through some specific paths that is internal communication and external communication we have already discussed the internal communication when we were discussing the chapter of computer hardware <clears throat> computer communicate with each other with the help of various devices peripherals components and, connect and connections which are further categorized into many types discussed below computers communication is termed as the action performing on a network the communication on a network is termed as networking so we will discuss all these terminologies in further slides why network why we need a network so sometimes we need to communicate or disseminate information from one location to another location from one branch to any other branch of any organization or from one department to another department within the organization <clears throat> or outside the organization what we required is called a network so why we need we need a network so this was the reason we need a network what is networking <clears throat> network is only an in infrastructure uh, we have connected with wires or wirelessly different devices we have an infrastructure in which we have connected so many devices this is actually a network infrastructure but when we start performing an action on those that network is called networking so what is networking networking is action of share and use of network to do anything or action performing on network is called networking for example you are browsing using an internet browser so there are methods of networking as there are types of networks so we will discuss in further slides so <clears throat> basically what the action the action you are performing on a network the activities you are start doing on the available network structure is called actually networking <clears throat> This is a, a picture of a specific network in which you can see we have a dedicated server and through hub or switch we have connected some PCs in this is this the area uh, before the router is actually a local area network in which a dedicated server is through dedicated server we have divided different resources to these clients and when they want to go on the internet use the internet service so router is a device which connects to different networks so our lan local area network to the internet the connectivity is provided by the router and before af after router 
or in when the data is coming inside or in in the network in our network before router we have firewall that which filter out different uh, uh, different types of bugs and viruses unauthorized data which is not required it actually filter out and allows the data which is only required by these clients these users from the internet so firewall is actually blocking the unrequired activities in our network so basically this is a pictorial view of that how actually network works and it is actually explaining to different types of network as well within uh, before the router we have a local area network and if we talk the entire picture you can say it is, it, it is a metropolitan area network or wide area network as well that you are connect it might be possible the internet through internet the server you are connecting it is available in america for example gmail or any other hotmail server so actually this entire picture will give you an explanation uh, or yeah or a pictorial view of how actually network works why computer network <clears throat> why we need computer network so sharing information that is data communication okay you can see from one pc to another pc if we want to share any data we can want to send our data from one system to another system what we required is a network similarly sharing of hardware or software for example in our office for 10 p 10 employees we have only one printer so we have sh we have to share that one printer with all those 10 employees by using network centralized administration and support internet base so everyone can access the same administrative or supportive support application from their pcs so these are different requirements for because of which we need computer network <clears throat> why computer network again sharing resources files printers data store stored so that whatever the data stored in the server the employees can access or the uh, customers or you can say our patients or students can access those available material from the server so we need a network group pair application collaborate on the same document if they want to work on the same document group in a group application so how we can share that Commons document by using a network again of a resource may be a file a folder a printer a hard disk the data in which the data is stored for example different database is available in this particular hard disk and it is stored with the relevant person those who, who can work on those uh, database or just about anything else that exists on a computer so whatever you have in your computer you can share it from one pc to another pc <clears throat> what type of issues we face when we have a network for example if our main server through which we have given the access to all the computers if that server crashes it means that loss of data and time if we do not have a backup of that particular sometimes mostly we have the backup so uh, we will when a one system main system is crashes we have a backup system and meanwhile we start working on the uh, that particular crash system in order to uh, process it uh, so that it can start working again smoothly so if we do not have for example if we do not have a backup server so there is a loss of data and time security if security that is firewall is weak there may be unauthorized access people can hack your data access your activities that is unauthorized peoples can or hackers can access your 
data privacy loss of privacy take a privacy can be performance depends on in any network the performance depends on some factors which among which the first factor is number of users more the number of users on a network the slower will be the performance of that particular network uh, you can see when you work on different uh, uh, you when you're working on internet uh, on daily basis there are certain peak times for example from uh, 7 to 10 or 12 the, these times are the peak times and mostly you found very slow internet or network speeds so if you have more number of users to, on the specific there is a more load on particular network and performance starts degrading so number of user performance depend on number of users that assessment of the average number of users that will be communicating at peak loads actual number of users are greater than the average that uh, if there are more actual number of users are more than the uh, greater than the average then you found some system degradation or perform network de performance degradation medium defines the data rate of data that which type of medium you are using you are using uh, wireless medium or wide medium you can see when you have a wired medium dedicated links your internet speed is faster but when you are communicating why on a wireless network so wireless network that is unguided network that is it is slower than the dedicated network again in wired network we have different types of uh, medium for example, you are communicating on copper twisted pair wires, copper wires, you are communicating, you have an optical fiber option. So if you are optical fiber option, you have, you are on the very speedy medium and your internet, your network communication is very faster because in fiber, the data travels in the, in the form of lights and light is the fastest medium available in the universe. So again, it de depends on the medium. Hardware, again, hardware that is wire, wireless, uh, whatever the things I have discussed, these uh, switches, hub, routers, and the capacity, they can transfer the data. Again, hard, it depends on hardware. Medium hardware affects both the speed and the capacity of transmission, and also software. There are some good software which, can, which uh, help us in, uh, performing uh, and maintaining our network speeds as well so used to process data at the center receiver and intermediate nodes again we have hardware medium software and how many number of users we have at that particular network our performance network performance depend on these factors <clears throat> then performance depends on security if your system is secure your network performance is good but when you are your system performance is not is not uh, your system your network is not secure so anyone any unauthorized access through can degrade your system performance they can send any type of viruses that slow down and degrades your system speeds so again security is another important factor which through uh, through which your performance of a network can be uh, on risk that it can degrade if you are not providing proper security that is unauthorized access sensitivity sensitive data must be protected uh, sometimes we have a very of uh, sensitive files we have some secure uh, important files uh, which we don't want to share with any other person so if the security is low if security compromises then the lowest then what happened then these all these type of issues start rising rising take a sensitivity data sensitive data must be protected lowest level 
सबसे मिनिमम लेवल की जो आपकी सिक्योरिटी है वो ये है पासवर्ड्स यू हैव टू यू हैव मस्ट हैव सम स्पेसिफिक पासवर्ड हायर लेवल इनक्रिप्शन टेक्निक्स हाउ वी कैन फर्दर सिक्योर और नेटवर्क communications by sending our data in an encrypted form uh, in a form which is not understandable by uh, by the hacker or an, any person if he tries to access our network the in the uh, which is an unauthorized access but for example if i have converted my original data into the in the form which is encrypted which is not understand it in the understanded for until until unless until and unless it received to the destination and it uh, decrypted over there at the destination and destination only can ret uh, retrieve the proper message what we want to transmit on the network if the in the channel if in the path in the network we have transmitted the data in the encrypted form so it again increases our security data network security data network data security so encryption techniques alteration of data or uh, you can say uh, is difficult or anyone if he tries to alternate our data so he, if he cannot understand what is in the data so he cannot edit the data and transmit to the destination so chances are less and we have more we are more secure when we transmit uh, the data in the encrypted form <clears throat> the network is accessible from many points so it is susceptible to computer virus again any way from anywhere any person can do an unauthorized access on our network if we our security is weak if our system uh, firewalls and system communication network secure is not secure then anyone can send some viruses in our desk to to our destination or and destroy the destroy our net, network or hack our network anything can be possible or uh, sniff sniffing and you can say uh, illegal activities but they can uh, take our data and files and it can and share with our uh competitors and anything any any unauthorized access can be or uh, illegal activity can be possible if our network is not secure application of networks resource sharing in resource sharing we have hardware computing resource disks printers as i have already discussed software application software sometimes some specific application software we share in order to perform the activities information resource sharing network application is for the resource sharing as i have already informed you that if we have 10 employees and we have a single printer so we can share that one printer with all 10 employees so resource sharing information sharing easy accessibility from anywhere files database that is through www that is internet you can access the database if you have proper link so information sharing need of need of network is for the information sharing and for the communication purposes as we can, we are doing our entire communicate uh, total communication on, on emails personally officially uh, and privately as well so message broadcasting so these are few things few applications of networks which due to which we require network that sometimes we have some we want to share some resources we want to share the information or simple we want to send some messages uh, we want to do communication we can uh, send our messages and receive the messages marketing sales you can see uh, you have different online uh, businesses available now to, uh, which are on totally based on the network okay different e-commerce activities are there so marketing sales 
collect, exchange, and analyze data related to customer needs, online reservation services, hotel, airline booking, purchasing of products. There are so many applications. Financial services, you can, that is ATM, EFT, you can online transfer of money, anything. All these things are nowadays very common and all these things are based are the applications of network actually based on network so everything which is based on network is actually the application apply of network that net network is applied in these activities information services teleconferences and online lectures cell phones so we are you can see with the help of uh, these networks we can call by using whatsapp and different other apps on our cell phones so communication again it is the mean of communication what is data communication now we are so you have seen all these things network in network we have discussed that uh, why we need network for different reasons okay so what is data communication communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place to another place from one department to another department from one branch to another branch these are the examples actually from one city to another city from one country to another country or from one continent to the data or information transferring of data and information is called data communication then there are certain set of rules on the basis of which we transfer our data from one source to other destination from one point to another point from one pc to another pc protocol what is protocol protocol is actually the set of rules and procedures through which you are doing all these activities so now i am on the slide a protocol is a set of rules that governs the communication between computers on a network in order for two computers to talk to each other they must be speaking the same language many different types of network protocols and the standards are required to ensure that your computer can communicate with another computer located on the next desk it might be possible the person you are sharing or communicating it is just adjacent to you or halfway around the world so what what are the protocols there are certain there are the osi system inter, inter system interconnection open system interconnection there are a set of rules there are set of layers there are seven layers on which there are different activities we are doing so i am discussing those activities the osi that is open system interconnection reference model defines seven layers of networking protocols the complexity of these layers is beyond the scope of this tutorial these are very complex we are just i'm just giving you a simple tutorial but the uh, if you study these layers deeply so they are, this is something very complicated so mostly computer science students get in the depth of these layers that how they work what how the data packets uh, their headers and how to send and send and receive the data and get the acknowledgement that previous data is completely sent and what these are all these things all these type of different types of protocols works on these seven layers so practically when we uh, discuss these seven layer in practical we have the four equivalent layers of these osi seven layers so however they can be simplified into four layers to help identify some of the protocols with which you should be familiar at least. So next figure I'm going to discuss with you that which are the four important layers on which in which we have converted these seven OSI layers. 
so uh, first the most lowest level layer is the physical layer that is the physical uh, layout the connectivity wireless and wired connectivity the communication on this level is called physical layer so uh, very easy way to under uh, to learn the this these seven layers i will give you a, a tri trick to learn these from up seven to one if you are coming from seven to one so you have uh, or if you are going from one to seven so the lowest level the most the lowest the lowest layer is known as physical layer then we have data link layer then we have network layer then we had transport then we have session then we have presentation layer and then we have application layer so these are seven osi layers osi model and if you are coming from upward to downwards so first we have the most top layer the topmost layer is known as application then presentation then session then transport then network then we have data link and then we have a physical layer on which all the communication is actually transmitted so the uh, easy way to learn this is if you learn this uh, uh, statement which i'm going to share with you that aaj phir se tumne dal pakai so this is just for in order to don't uh, in order to uh, memorize that what what which layer comes at at top and which layer comes at the bottom so the proper organization of these layer from 7 to 1 is aaj a phir se t tum n a n d dal p pakai so is tarah se you can learn the ke how to write these layer from 7 to 1 आज का ए फिर का पी से का एस तुम का टी ने का एन दाल का डी और पकाई का पी सो दिस इज अ ट्रिक यू हैव मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव मैनी अदर ट्रिक्स सो इफ यू वांट टू फॉलो अदर एनी अदर ट्रिक यू कैन फॉलो एंड द मेन थिंग इज ऑन दीज टू लेयर्स ऑन दीज टू लेयर्स वी हैव इथरनेट इथरनेट दैट इज लैन then we have a network that is internet protocols then in which we have common protocols we are talking that in what type of in which layers what type of rules rules other synonym word is protocol protocols is actually the set of rules so what common protocol set of rules work on these particular layers for communication on a network so we have internet protocols on which how communication works then transport layer we have tcp or spx so these days ipx and spx are not more working so the most work of the work we go with ip and tcp ip that is internet protocol tcp means transfer control protocol tcp ip slash ip transfer control protocol and internet protocol then we have some other protocols at the most top most layer that is application layer that is http that is when we whenever we write any email address you can see uh, whenever we search anything on the google or any website you can see at the start we have http and https before the website www we have http and https so what are the meaning of http that is hyper text transfer protocol the set of rules governing are uh, in hyper text text transfer protocol is called http and when we have https it means that hyper text transfer protocol secure s represent the secure one then we have ftp protocols that file transfer protocols what are the set of rules to in order to transmit a file from one source to the destination then smtp protocols that is simple mail transfer protocol then we have dns that is very important domain name system what is domain name system you can see we write uh, we 
type uh, yahoo.com or we type hotmail.com so these are the domain names behind it we with every domain name we have a specific id for example if you are talking about uh, the pakistani national for every name we have a unique id that is cnic national identity identity card number nic number nic which actually is a unique identity of every person so dns means domain name system so every domain name every different domain name is having a unique ip address so dns converts application layers protocol dns domain name system protocols actually converts name into ip or ip into name sometimes you write down some uh, some ips and you can access the hotmail if if those who know what is the ip of hotmail you if you type the ip on your uh, uh, explorer internet explorer or google chrome or any other mozilla fire for any other explorer so you can directly access through the hotmail server and if you don't don't remember people do not remember mostly the ips so they have uh, 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 it's, uh, uh, i can say they ha they have these domain name systems proto set of rules in which they have link their ips with their domain names domain names mostly are memorizable easily memorizable by the people common people so you know hotmail but you don't remember every time you remember what 192.168 whatever it is the ip address hotmail have so it is actually difficult to remember the ip addresses so we have this scheme this protocol domain name system in which in which domain name is converted into ip or ip is converted into domain name so if we have a hotmail we must know what is the ip behind it and domain name system converts that domain name into that ip and try to access that server and if it is a gmail server so you have a gmail uh, a server on your uh, gmail account on your browser so then you start login by putting your email addresses and passwords so actually you are typing gmail but behind that gmail address there is an ip address so domain name system converts that name into ip and and access provide you the connectivity with that particular server so that you can communicate and perform file you can do your file transfer or you want to send some emails you can do all these activities telnet is another type of message when in order to send hi and hello so that you can you must know that you from source to destination you have a connectivity so you there there is a hello packets in order to understand that the, uh, there is a proper connectivity so telnet is another thing uh, which we do in on the application layer these telnet there are certain telnet rules so all these are actually the common protocols work on different layers so mostly we have it, it is divided into four that is for the these two then network then transport and then all for all these we have these four h hypertrust transfer protocol protocol that is a set of rules file transport protocol that is a set of rules we they are governing in order to transfer a file from source to destination etc all right so